I'm Adam Schindler. There is more a soldier can do to serve beyond their normal duties. I'm going to introduce you to a military intel soldier that's also taking on a medical mission in this week's Faces of Fort Cavazos. There's always at least one in each generation of my family to serve. I am the first one in over 100 years to go Army. This is Sergeant McKenna Johnson Finnick. She is serving in a military intelligence role with the 1st Cavalry Division on Fort Cavazos. Her story begins in sunny Verona, California. You know, grew up with the typical loving mom, you know, stepmom, stepdad, dad, and, you know, they worked very, you know, they worked very cohesively in raising us, um, as well as my grandparents had a significant influence on my life. After joining the Army to pay for college and prove she could make it through basic training, Johnson Finnick began serving as an engineer. She soon found the path of military intel was the one she really wanted to take. It just took a heavy toll on the joints and I didn't like it so much. Intel, I've always felt a draw and I decided to give it a try and I love it. She serves her country like a community, going beyond the uniform to give back. Tell me about the bone marrow program you're part of. I'm part of Operation Ring the Bell. We are a grassroots group of soldiers who's dedicated to raising awareness for the DOD program Salute to Life. Salute to Life has been around since 1991 and most of the Army doesn't know it exists. The mission? Getting as many soldiers as possible to sign up to be bone marrow donors. Salute to Life relies on volunteers, but she and Operation Ring the Bell is working to change that. Right now we are working with senior Army leadership, including Chief of Staff of the Army and Sergeant Major of the Army, to establish programs across the Army so it's permanent and has a sustainability to keep going once we all leave. For her, it's shocking that more soldiers don't know about Salute to Life and the need for more bone marrow donors, especially when donating can save a life and recovery time is so short. We had a volunteer who's part of our group who had actually donated himself and he was in an airborne unit and he was able to do a jump the next week. It's that easy. Johnson Finnick tells me that the goal is to get at least 30% of soldiers at Fort Cavazos to sign up as bone marrow donors. Not a sprint, but a marathon she plans to keep on running. I'm Adam Schindler and this is Faces of Fort Cavazos.